What is up, everybody? What is up? I just want to say again, thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Real Talk with Rodney. And this is actually episode six. 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 Think about that. We're almost a week into this thing. So, again, thank you for joining me on this journey. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, here's the reason why I'm making this video today or tonight is that I really, really do need your help. And I need your help so badly. So please bear with me on this. I'm going to go through this as quick as I can. Okay? Excuse me. Uh, so let's get straight to the point. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going on. I spoke about this earlier today, right? Um, in a nutshell, it is uh, an affliction, a condition, or whatever that's called gynecomastia. Now, what that is is simply enough the enlargement of breast tissue in males. It's got nicknames like, you know, man boobs or movies, whatever the case is, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I know there are stigmas that come with that, right? I've, been, I've grown up with it all my life. So whether you are dealing with the ridicule, um, you know, the teasing or whatever, having to wear certain clothing, right? Regardless of the weather outside, regardless of the temperatures, wear certain, certain clothing uh, to hide the contour of the physique, right? Uh, so that way you don't, you know, show anything. Uh, also, maybe tugging down on the shirt, right? Tugging on the shirt kind of helps hide and mask the, uh, it makes the, the upper body look less pronounced, right? So these are little tricks that you learn having to go through this because you don't want to get picked on, right? You don't want to be, you know, oh, look at that person over there, you know, in whispers. So again, this is something I've dealt with all my life and I'm making this video for that reason is because I've dealt with it and I know I'm not the only one I see people I see guys in the same situation some of them don't give a rip okay I made this public about myself about a month or so ago and the response of support that I had was incredible I wasn't looking for that per se wasn't asking for that which is kind of a stepping stone for me to kind of get out there and it was incredible and I appreciate everybody for all the support that you gave thank you so much so what I'm looking for here at this point with me doing this is that the more that I do it, the less control, the less power that it has. I've, I've, I've still been going out, doing better, uh, wearing less, uh, well, not necessarily wearing less, but um, uh, just dressing normal, more normal than I have been in the past. And it, it's been a relief, a load off my shoulders and chest, right? You know, a load off my mind. And what I'm hoping to do, like I said, while this video, while part of the reason why I'm doing this is to help me, I'm also hoping that this video gets out there to reach those guys that are going through the similar situation because I don't, I, I know they're there because I see them. I, you can't hide it. I mean, it's really hard to hide it, trust me. And I want you to understand that you're not alone. Uh, you are not the only one that's gone through the situation. We've been there. I understand, and I'm sure there are many of us out there that understand the suffering that you've gone through, the teasing you've gone through, and all that other crap, okay? I'm hoping that it hasn't gotten to this point for some folks. I'm sure it has, and I wish it hadn't. But even getting to the point to where you've caused yourself harm because you're just so unhappy with the way you look based on the, the, um, the external input, right? Uh, the, the feedback and the ridicule and the teasing and the name call that you've given that you've received from other people screw that crap okay I want you to understand there's somebody out there that feels where you're coming from and that's why that this is where I need everybody's help at this point so listen in I thought about this I made a note of it at the very very end of my periscope video and this is what I'm looking at doing. And I, I even have a sticky note still. I still got the sticky note, all right? And here's what it's about. Here's what it's about. Is that I thought about, con you know, country-wise, but I said, no, screw that. Let's go international. Let's go global. And to help counteract, right, the problem or the challenge, not problem, challenge that we might have with our body, why don't we find a way to fix it, right? Take a step in the direction of fixing it. Just start walking. Start drinking water. Start changing your eating habits, right? Little by little. Don't need to go cold turkey, but make a change. And so I'm looking at doing now what's called steps across the world. Hashtag it. Steps across the world. Steps across the world. Steps across the world. Do it. Um, and here's why. If we bring more awareness to this, uh, I think it would help people just 
become more cognizant of what they're doing and how it actually affects that person that they're picking on, right? And for that person that's being picked on, they now have the knowledge that, hey, look, you know, there are other people out there that are going through the same thing and they feel where I'm coming from, right? So now we've got a support system and a support group. And now we might have solutions, right? Because I've gone through the plastic surgery, still didn't fix it. But now we're looking at that we've got solutions that can be able to help them. So I'll do more on this later. I might do this for a couple more episodes, but that's it. I'm going to leave this. I don't want to go over five minutes, which I already did, but I'm trying to keep it below six. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support for Steps Across the World. Thank you. Love you. Stay blessed. And I'll holler at you later.